Have you built a gravity feed watering system for your quail? Maybe based on one of my videos or based on your own, but you're having a problem connecting it to the bucket without it leaking. I'm going to show you a simple, easy fix for that in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with my channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today we're talking about my gravity feed watering system and specifically this connection where you connect it to the bucket. If you watched my previous video, I connected this to the bucket with uh, silicone and a piece of PVC that acted like a, a nut on the back of uh, the, the valve that I was connecting the hose to and it worked out okay. It worked pretty well actually initially, but the problem is silicone doesn't stick and this is what I kind of figured out and think about it, I already knew that. I don't know why I didn't think about that ahead of time, but silicone does not stick to the bucket very well. So even though it worked pretty well initially, over time it breaks down, it peels away, and it starts to leak. So I've got another solution for you that will work over the long haul, and it's very, very easy to do. Let me show you what I've got here. Now, of course, for this, you're going to need a bucket. You could use the same one that you're already using, but I've got a new bucket right here. And then you're also going to need these parts right here. This is a bulkhead connection, and I'll put links down below where you can get these. This is a uh, one and three eighths inch uh, threaded section, and it's got a half inch uh, female threaded section on the other end. And then I've got this valve that is a half inch threaded that's going to screw into that just like so. I can go ahead and connect that actually. Wrap some maybe uh, Teflon tape around the threads there uh, just to keep it a little bit more watertight. Screw that into the bulkhead fitting itself and I've got a, I think this is a 3 8 inch barb right there where I can just connect a hose right to it. These uh, come in different sizes. This barb you can get it in half inch, different, whatever size hose you need uh, to connect to this. Just look for the one that has the barb in that. As long as it's a half inch threaded on the other end, it'll thread right into this bulkhead connection just fine. Okay, so you take the bulkhead connection apart. Uh, take this nut off the back of it and you've got three, um, well you've got a plastic, this is kind of a hard plastic washer and then you've got this uh, soft rubber washer um, as well. So the way this is going to work is you're going to drill a hole in your bucket. Again, it's one and three eighths inch. Drill a hole in your bucket. You're going to slide this through with the soft rubber connection on the outside of the bucket and then on the inside of the bucket you're going to connect this hard plastic connector is going to go like that, sandwiching the bucket right between it, and then the nut on the end. So let me get you my bucket here real quick, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so this is my bucket that I'm going to be connecting this to. And again, this is a 1 and 3 eighths inch hole right here. So I'm just going to set this down on the ground and make it a little bit easier to work on, and hopefully you'll be able to see it through the camera. So again, once you've drilled the hole in your bucket, all you're going to do is take your bulkhead, you're going to slip this through from the outside, inside the bucket like so, and then I'm going to put these two pieces on on the inside, the hard plastic connector. Probably don't need to see this on camera because it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy, but I'll show you anyway just to be sure. So again, it just goes through the hole and on the inside of the bucket, I don't know how well you can see that on camera, then I put, hopefully that shows up, put the hard plastic connector on there, and then the uh, nut itself is going to go on there and it tells you on here which way to tighten it. Um, which way to turn it to tighten it. So you just got to make sure that you do that. And I'm going to hold on to one side while I do it. If I can hold on to it and then just tighten it up. All right, so there you go. Once you've got it connected on there, um, you know, if you need to, you can get a pipe wrench hook onto here and kind of crank that down and tighten it down just a little bit more. Um, I find it's not really necessary. This provides a great seal, and all you've got to do now is hook your hose onto there, and you're good to go and ready to go. All right, so I've got, as you can probably tell, I'm building a new watering system. I've got some new watering systems I'm going to be testing out with the quail, and if that all works out well, I'll be sharing with everybody on here. Uh, but other than that, hopefully this helps you a little bit with your current watering system, helps you to connect it, and you can use this for anything, whether you're hooking it up for your quail, your rabbits, if you want to hook it up for, I don't know, watering plants or whatever. It's a great way to connect a hose to a bucket, and because that little barb comes in different sizes, um, you don't have to create a new bucket every time you want to switch to a different size hose. You just get another barbed piece in a different size unscrew the one, screw the next one back in, and you can hook a different size hose up to the bucket. So it really works out really, really well. Hopefully this solves a few issues for you guys, helps you out a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, God bless.